So what's all this about? Yes, my Shoblin 52 tool room mill and the Kingway straight edge casting. Machined on one surface here and just on the back, but then the big side here. To be able to do that, I have to move from this type of tool to this baby here, or this that's the version I have, which is big enough to fit this in one. And then I will mount the casting or plan to mount the casting like that and I will then swivel the whole affair around uh, to get the, the cutter pointing horizontally and I unlock the spindle or not the spindle sorry the, the um, column here can rotate the spindle around the head I mean Listen, and then I swivel it around until I get to the, I could use it up the top, but I want to get this as low to the table as possible. Just move it around, get, get to the zero degree mark, and I can, if I want to, index it. That, but I have to lock the spindle, you know, and then undo this indexing mechanism. Otherwise, if it somehow slips, it will break off the tooth in this mechanism. So undo this. And now I will, yeah, so sorry, I will first, of course, now, before I lock the, the column there again, get this baby as close to this as possible because I know that this will be, <coughs> this will have to be placed like that, or I want to place it like that, so maybe something like that and I can adjust this to where it's convenient with the travel on the table I know it's that's quite far out so I want to go a little bit further in I guess or it doesn't really matter but at least I can do this all the way in here now lock the spindle of course I can Test the speeds, and uh, I could get them back here, but I could also go down with the step test feed here. To a properly low speed. The lowest at 255 RPM. Direct right. I changed the setup a little bit to using a wood block underneath because it might be a little bit irregular there now, and then I clamped it. I had to change the setup a little bit and also to change the back gearing on the spindle because I run the cutter too fast, both calculated and uh, <coughs> I got some chatter. I don't want to cover up the ways here because this is killing the the killer this uh, cast iron and stuff. At least the setup seems to hold up, so I'm pleased. I'm now running uh, back gearing and uh, says here 
mit Übersetzung uh, mit 72 RPM. So uh, I was way too fast in the other setup. I left the finish rather coarse, but that doesn't that just doesn't matter because we are going to scrape it anyhow. So uh, yeah, I'll give it one more pass and then I'm through. So I'm milling a chuck key holder. Yes, I can up the RPM a bit. Just using manual feed. Top, so to speak, is just a color folder. I'm just uh, sneaking up on the actual diameter just to show how I do it. <laughs> <laughs> 